What's going on guys? So I thought today we would take a look at the power supply. This is a thermal take RGB 750 watt fully modular 80 gold rating and it's like 120 bucks. So I thought we would look at it. Let's do this. Let's open it. Wow, nice. Paperwork. Oh, sweet. Check that out. Comes in a bag. Nice. It says thermal take on it. Let's see. See what's in it wow so you actually get quite a bit of cabling and this is the um, you know the benefit of having a fully modular power supply you only need what you take so you if you only need one of these then you put the other one back in the bag and then like for an instance there was uh, you know two or three bundles right here of SATA cables you know you don't need all of that you maybe you only need one so you use one and then you put the rest in. I mean, it's so right there, there's three cables that you're not having to wind up and shove in your case somewhere. Because cables, they suffocate. They stop airflow. And they're horrible dust collectors. So that's one of the nice benefits of having a fully modular power supply. And that's a nice, nice pouch. Here's the power supply. It's in like this black box let's see here there we go see it we'll drop it here I'm gonna set this down there well that's it nothing else in the box so let's see here it has RGB cycle mode solid red solid green solid blue and solid white it's a tough power grand RGB gold series features a patent 256 color ring 14 RGB fan which means it's a 140 millimeter fan five lighting modes and a built-in memory and I also know this thing has a smart switch on it too which is cool because I've actually owned one of these before um, it was in my other build so here it is that's nice man they really they do a great job on presentation make sure you keep all this stuff because when you're when you no longer need your power supply you'll put it back in all this and store it so it comes in like this cloth let's pull that off there we go set that over there oh yeah man this thing got some good weight to it Man, yeah, it's a 140 millimeter fan, all right. It's pretty big. There's the uh, the smart switch right there. You just flip it, and it turns the fan on and off. And I also believe, hold on, let me see here. Let me get a better grip on it. Let's see here. It says, it says smart fan. There it goes. Smart zero fan on off. The fan does not operate if the PSU is at low loads off the silent fan operates and then you have an RGB switch that you can play with now I will give you a piece of advice guys um, yes this was a hundred and twenty dollar power supply but the most important component in your computer is the power supply that is the most absolutely the most important do not go cheap on your power supply it's like owning a Ferrari and then you put cheap gas in it what do you think is going to happen it's going to run like crap no different and then if you have let's say you have an i7 and a GTX 2080 you got 32 gigs of RAM and all that good stuff and you buy a $50 or $30 power supply that's you're asking for it because your power supply is the lifeblood 
of your system. It's what's providing the electricity for your i7 and your 1080s and your 2080 Ti's and all of your 32 gigs of RAM and stuff. And you have to have a good power supply to make sure that all of those components are getting electricity efficiently and continuously, which is the main thing. Um, and plus, you don't want nothing to catch fire. And you want it to last a long time too. So my advice to you guys is definitely, definitely buy an expensive, nice, high-end power supply. And something, it has to be 80 plus something rating. Uh, bronze, gold, silver, platinum, whatever. It needs to have a rating, at least. And you don't need um, an insane amount, you know. Just because it says 750 watts, that doesn't mean that's what the computer will pull. The computer will only pull what it needs from the power supply. So that's a very also a very common misconception about power supplies. Um, let's. Uh, I like all the venting. Look at all the holes around it. You know, plenty of airflow. This thing ain't gonna overheat nowhere. There's the front of it. And then look, the back's full of holes. The sides full of holes. I mean, they they got holes all the way around it. That's very smart on their part. Let's uh, let's plug it in. changing colors right now going to purple orange yellow like a green yeah it looks cool that's gonna look great and it does I've seen these uh, these power supplies in cases before and it looks great especially in my own let's see here if I can turn it on its side that's cool yeah man it looks awesome and then right here on the back there's this RGB button every time I press it look, I can turn it off on it changes colors so let's say I just want it on green well there you go now it'll stay on green every time you turn it on and off it'll be on green or whatever color you want it we're gonna have it on a blue of course because I like the color blue so, and of course, if you're going to turn it on and play with it, you need one of these. You need a jumper. This is how I'm able to turn the power supply off without, on without it being hooked to a motherboard. But yeah, the Thermaltake RGB 750 watt Tough Power Grand Series power supply. It's 80 plus gold. Um, rate it for 50,000 hours. And it's definitely a must you have to buy this you need this you need a good power supply guys that's all there is to it you gotta have one and this is what I recommend so I hope you guys like it please smash a like subscribe thank you for watching and as always you guys be cool